the show. Today we're making caprese salad. salad. First, we have to cut the tomatoes into slivers. Tomatoes. Now you have to cut the mozzarella into slivers. Now for the main course, we're going to have pasta with sun-dried tomatoes and feta cheese and the chicken that we've prepared. Then you add the chicken to the water so it can cook for the pasta. And approximately this much olive oil, or just oil. This is how you check if the chicken's done. First, you take a piece of chicken, a big piece, and with the knife you cut open the center to see if the color is the same as the outside. If it is, then the chicken is ready. This chicken is ready. Now, I have to use um, kitchen gloves to take the chicken and then, oh, okay. pour Pour it into this strainer. strainer to get all the um, chicken out. <laughs> and then you take a fork to and you sure get you all the to get make sure you get all the chicken. <laughs> now the water is boiling. So first you have to only take a few pieces of pasta and put it in or else the whole thing will overflow. Now you pour the rest. Once the pasta is in the boiling water, you need to stir it up. And then let it cook for approximately 15 minutes. When you, ha when you have the sun-dried tomatoes for the pasta that you're going to put in, you have to cut them up in small slivers. Like slivers. When you're done cutting up the sun-dried tomatoes, you need to um, cut up the, or you need to squish up the feta cheese so you can mix them together in a bowl with salt and pepper. After you've cut up the sun-dried tomatoes and the feta cheese, you need to put it together and mix it up in a bowl. <laughs> After you need to mix it up. After you mix up the cheese and the sun-dried tomatoes, you add the chicken into the mixture. After you've added the chicken, you need to add about one fourth teaspoon of salt mm -hmm. and pepper. Is enough. When you when you when the pasta is done cooking, you have to drain it in in a drainer. Now we have to shake the pasta because to get all the water out. First, we pour all the pasta into the bowl. Then you add the mixture we've made of sun-dried tomatoes, chicken, and feta cheese. Then you need to mix up all of our ingredients to create a fine pasta dish. Guys are great. Third, we are making dessert. An assortment of fruit with blueberry yogurt. Go. First, we have to <laughs> chop up the fruit. Yeah. We will start <laughs> by chopping up In your head. the fruit. <laughs> the cantaloupe. <laughs> Bananas and the cantaloupe, you need to cut the watermelon. Now you need to put in three big spoonfuls of yogurt. Or 
<laughs> this is the dinner we prepared for our friends. This is a caprese salad with tomato, mozzarella cheese, and basil. For an appetizer. For, an appetizer. for the main dish, we have pasta with sun-dried tomatoes, chicken, and feta cheese. For dessert, we have an assortment of fruit mixed with blueberry yogurt. And today we have our friends here today, Aunt Shannon, <laughs> to try our meal. Thank you. Okay. Now for feedback about our meal. Um, Maddie. It was really good. Like, oh my gosh, all of it was really good. Except there was one thing. Um, I could have had more chicken because the noodles weren't so fulfilling. So, there you go. I think it was good, but I also agree with... Um, <laughs> Okay. I also agree with Maddie that um, I needed more stuff. Tanya. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, it was good. And okay, thank you. <laughs> hey, okay, it was finished. <laughs> um, pasta was good. I think I think there should have been more fruit because I still like more. Like watermelon. So there's it, no. It, it was good. Less okay, thank you for that, your feedback. No, <laughs> it was good, but... And thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching! Go. I can't open... Oh, so Maybe hard! I got it, I got it, I'm sorry. Success! Okay. okay sorry. Now oh, I'm gonna oh. turn on the stove. We want to have it at a higher flame because then the chicken will cook Pasta. faster. Pasta. Oh my god. Now I'm going to turn on the stove. We want it at a higher flame so then the water will boil it's not faster. On. Now we want it at a higher flame so that the water will boil fast. Oh my god. <laughs> now we turn on the flame and we have it at a higher we turn it at a higher flame because so <laughs> <laughs> you have to make sure it's firm first. <laughs>